study, the long-term effects of ocean acidification exposure on fundamental crab species, the red king crab and the tenor crab. There are four important measurements to be accounted for in this article case study, which revolve around the behaviour, physiology, morphology and origin of these juvenile species. Importantly, the four measurements conducted over the long-term exposure to acidified water conditions include evaluating the growth, clarification, condition and survival of both crab species. Research has shown that long-term exposure to ocean acidification may lead to an increase in mortality rate, whereas the species will suffer in growth and condition rate. Measuring their calcification and molting frequency rates will calculate which species is more or less likely to have a decline in population numbers. As proclaimed by Whitley, the change in water chemistry has an effect on many of the species living in the oceans and is likely to cause substantial changes in marine ecosystems. In this experiment, the Red King crabs were captured using commercial pots in Bristol Bay, Alaska, whereas the juvenile tenor crabs were caught in local Kodiak waters using a modified benthic sled. Although both species differ in origin, Sweeney exclaims, there is no reason to suspect that these habitats differ in terms of pH or carbon chemistry. However, Long describes that red king crab embryos and larvae are sensitive to even small changes in pH, whereas he insists tenor crab embryos and larvae are tolerant to changes in pH. The experiment was performed using three tanks and 90 crabs were randomly assigned to each of these three tank treatments. Over the period of nearly 200 days, each contained specimen was exposed to different seawater levels, pH 8.0, pH 7.8, and pH 7.5, with temperatures ranging from 4.4 to 11.9 degrees Celsius. Five cells were selected at random per treatment daily and pH and temperature were investigated. Red king crab and tenor crab mortality rates were both lower in controlled water. In both species, growth level and survival decreased with pH level, and it is evident that red king crabs were first particularly vulnerable, with 100% mortality in the pH 7.5 treatment occurring after 95 days. However, the red king crab's calcium content was not affected by ocean acidification, but did decrease in its condition index, whereas the opposite reaction occurred with tenor crabs. Having a decrease in calcium content while the condition index remained the same. The ocean acidification substantially reduced the growth, condition and survival of these two species. And as an end result, crabs in controlled water had 61% higher masses than crabs in higher acidic water levels. But crab species have shown increases in mortality and decreases in growth and condition. This suggests that the population of both species will suffer, with the red king crab species being affected foremost in the future. Thank you.